the basics of car budgeting in the automotive industry. We often talk about the importance of budgeting for a car, but today we're laying out the actual technique of proper budgeting, something we do ourselves. I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, joined today by the amazing Elizabeth. The goal of today's show is to ensure that you can afford the car you're after without straining your finances or facing the ugliest prospects of bank repossession. Let's get right to it. Step number one, assess your income and expenses. Start by putting together a budget spreadsheet. If you don't have a specific software program, you can use Google Sheets through any Gmail login. Begin by putting your monthly after-tax income in the spreadsheet. (laughs) Next, list all your current monthly expenses, including rent or mortgage, utilities, groceries, insurance, savings, and any other debts you have. If you're not sure what your numbers are, pull out your last three months of bank statements and tally up your actual purchases. The remainder, after expenses are subtracted out, will give you an idea of what you have left in your budget for a car. Step 2. Determine the total cost of ownership. When budgeting for a car, you need to account for all the costs associated with owning a vehicle. This includes things like car insurance, which can easily range from $75 to $250 per month on average. If you drive 30 miles to work and back, that's 2 gallons of gas in a typical sedan, but 4 gallons of gas in a truck. With average fuel prices right now, that's $6 to $12 in fuel expense every day. With 22 workdays in a month, that's $130 to $265 in fuel expense just to drive to work, not counting going out to lunch or weekend and evening driving. For basic maintenance, this puts your oil change frequency at about every two months. That adds another $50 per month. We're already between $300 to $600 a month, and that's just the basics. And then there's tires and brakes. You get my point. So what do we do about this? We set aside some money each month for repairs so we can't get caught by surprise if our vehicles need work. Step number three, consider using the 24-10 rule. The 24-10 rule is a simple formula that helps keep your car expenses in check with your budget. This rule recommends that you make a down payment of at least 20% on the car's purchase price, something we've always said. Yep. You try to finance a car for no longer than four years and ensure your total car-related expenses don't exceed 10% of your gross income. Now, yes, you can select longer-term financing and just pay it off faster. This rule helps you avoid being upside down financially on your car loan, which is owing more than the car is worth and ensures that your car expenses are manageable relative to your income. If you say there's no way you could do this on the vehicle you want, rethink your vehicle choices. The bottom line is you're just telling yourself you can't afford the car you're trying to buy. Sorry, friends, but that's the honest truth. Step number four, saving up for that down payment. A significant down payment reduces the amount you need to borrow, which in turn lowers your monthly loan payments and the amount of interest you'll pay. Saving for a down payment also helps you reduce the risk and secure a lower interest rate. If you think you can't afford to save money for a down payment, why are you now thinking about making monthly car payments? Good question. Yeah. Do you really think you can afford monthly payments if you can't afford to save money? Here's what we suggest. Months before you make a car purchase, when you first start thinking about it, figure out what monthly payment you think you can afford and start putting that amount in a savings account every month. Trust me when I say it adds up quickly. Not only does it prepare you financially to deal with the expense of the new car payment when it comes time to buy, but you've shown you have the discipline to sacrifice that amount from your budget every month. If some months your budget is too tight and you miss saving the planned amount, Think about missing your car payment and having the stress of a potential repossession hanging over your head. If that happens at any time during your planning and saving phase, rethink your vehicle choices and get something cheaper. Step number five, explore your financing options. Before stepping into a dealership, explore different financing options with your own bank or credit union. Dealer financing might seem convenient, but banks and credit unions often offer better interest rates. Consider being pre-approved for a loan as it gives you a clearer picture of what you qualify for what you can afford, and it strengthens your negotiating position. Number six, understand the loan details. When evaluating loan offers, pay close attention to the APR as it includes not just the interest rate, but also other lender fees and charges. Since dealers are being required by the new CARS rule to show you what the total cost of your loan is, make sure you ask the dealer for this information. And remember, shorter loans have less overall expenses. And there's nothing wrong with getting pre-approved for a loan first, then seeing if the dealer can beat it. If you actually happen to be a cash buyer, make sure you see our great cash buyer videos so you don't say something stupid and ruin your <laughs> opportunity for more aggressive price <laughs> negotiations. We I'm have, serious about that. Yeah. We have in-depth videos on every car buying topic out there. So comb over our channel if you want more information on any step. 
Also, our website, thehomeworkguy.com, is loaded with free car buyer resources, check the blog, and even direct help membership packages, so you can check it out right there. That's right. Thanks again to our many faithful followers who just keep coming back, and to all of our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock. And to you members of our channel, we have loved working with you. God bless you all. On behalf of the entire Homer Guy team and the amazing Elizabeth, I'm Kevin Hunter. Thanks for listening. You can't-